Hey there, YouTube. Ninjanik333 here on Kerwin's Game Store channel. Um, bringing you an opening of Dragon Strike Infernus that they just got in. Woo! Okay. I just gotta figure out how to open it without using my teeth. Okay. Ugh. Unfortunately, I got stuck behind an 18-wheeler on my way here. I couldn't wait to get here. All right. And the card between the packs, Ragefire Tetsurion. We all know who this guy is. Pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. Okay, gonna put him there. All right, first pack. I have no idea what any of these cards are, basically, besides Rage Fire, so bear with me. All right, we've got Grudge Weaver, Canyon Skimmer, Explosive Infantry, Defense Mode, <laughs> it's like Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Coral Claw, uh, Gemini Dragon as our rare, Double Breaker with Spell Surge. Whenever you cast a spell, this creature gets plus 4,000 power until the end of the turn. That's kind of cool. Celestial Dragon. Uh, and Emperor Dendrite right after it. Not hollow, but he's cool. Double Breaker with Hydro Jet. When this creature enters the battle zone, you may target, return target enemy creature that's level, f no, return target creature that is level five or less from the battle zone to its owner's hand. So you could do that with like Hydra Medusa. That'd be cool. Treetop dragon and, ooh, look, Umbra. Ooh, Umbra. Firebird. I've got that. Let me put the rares right here for you. Commons up here. Try not to rip these cards, because technically they're not mine. <laughs> Uh, Storm Seeker, Drooling Worm, Logos Lookout, Hammer Fist, that's a cool one, kind of like Comet Missile, uh, Steel Hammer, and Snare, Rare, Shield Blast, your opponent chooses one of his or her untapped creatures in the battle zone, put that creature into your opponent's mana zone. So that's really cool, kind of like uh, Root Trap, Spark Cage, the draw card for light. Ancient Grave Worm, Rot Worm, that's cool. And Canina, so that's like a Firebird per pack now, which is cool. All right, pack number three. I have the Tribe, I have the Tides, Cyber Virus, really bad card, two for one. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that peeking out? Ah, super. That's nice. So we've got Toothed Grubbling. Oops, did this wrong earlier. Let's see, where's our rare and snare? Okay. There we go. Alright. Tooth Grubbling. Yeah, I guess he's alright. Mana Pod Beetle. Explosive Infantry. Again, Coral Claw. And here's our rare Dragon's Breath. The Shield Blast that is banished target enemy creature that has power 3,000 and less, and one that's 2,000 or less, and one that's 1,000 or less, which is pretty awesome. And then our rare is Kuragar of the Hordes. Woo, pretty. He is Triple Breaker with Ancient Call. Whenever a card is put into your mana zone, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a non-evolution creature, put it in the battle zone. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of your deck. That's pretty cool. We've also got Mano Warden and the Swarm Leader Evo. I like how most of the like good Evos are all um, like uncommons. That way we can manage to get those easily. Very playable cards too. Oh, uh, we got Vectro Scout. I have the Tides, Gloom Tomb, Steel Hammer, Trial and Error. Dragon's Breath again, awesome. Burn Claw the Relentless, Aurora Valkyrie. That's one I'm gonna be wanting. 
Nice, it's only an uncommon. And the swarm leader mega bug. All right, where'd my rare go? Oh, I put it down already, okay. <laughs> Energize. Ooh, this is cool. Put the top card of your deck in your mana zone. Each cre each of your creatures gets plus a thousand until the end of the turn. We've got another Gloom Tomb, Storm Seeker, Explosive Infantry, Logos Lookout. And here's our rare Patchwork Surgeon Chimera. When this creature enters the battle zone, choose a creature in your discard pile and return it to your hand. That's pretty cool. Now we've got Bagash. Treetop Dragon. Oh, he's a kind of cheap dragon, only for six. And or, another Aurora Valkyrie. Nice. So many packs to open. So little time. All right, another Trial and Error, Hammer Fist, Coral Claw, Manipod Beetle, Drooling Worm. Ew, a Drooling Worm. Ooh. A horn blade dragon. Skirmisher, five for 7,000, that's pretty big. Well, what's this? Devouring Smog, your opponent chooses one of his or her untapped creatures in the battle zone, banish that creature. That's pretty awesome. Lux, ooh, Lux. Got uh, Emperor Dendrite again too. Good for those Cyberlord decks. Another really cruddy Eye of the Tides. Defense mode. Gloom Tomb. Bronca the Treacherous that goes with that new red Evo that I think we've got one of already here, which is cool. What's he? Oh, he's only a common, that's cool. Copper Locust. Arachnopod for our rare. A blocker, Skirmisher. Spyweb Signal. Whenever this creature blocks, choose one of your other creatures and untap it. Oh, that's, that's pretty awesome. Sky Weaver. I think that's a new type. And then our we've got a very rare, Kendrick's the Psionic. This was a really cool one I saw before. Evolution, put on one of your dragons. Double Breaker, can't be blocked. And at the end of your turns, each of your turns, you may draw a card for each shield that was broken. Awesome. Now we've got... Mano Warden and the Swarm Leader. Rarg. Uh. Got Logos Lookout. Aw, he's so cute. Look at him. He's just a baby. Uh, Energize. Tooth Grubbling. Manipod Beetle, Coral Claw, Gemini Dragon. That's, we got that one before, I think. Spark Cage, Emperor Dendrite, Balua. That's nice. That's, I think we've got almost one of every Firebird now. Missing, are we missing one? I don't know. All right, we've got uh, Grudge Weaver. Ooh, he looks cool. Kind of like a spider. Trial and error, canyon skimmer. Explosive infantry, defense mode. Blast forge dragon. Oh, he's only a common too. And dragon of reflections, tsunami dragon. Double breaker with shield shift. When this creature enters, enters the battle zone, you may choose one of your shields and put it into your hand. And if you do put a card from your hand into your shield zone face down as a new shield. What? <laughs> so you could so you could pick a random shield you have and go, oh wow, this is a really crappy card. And then go, okay, well let me set my terror pit down in shields. <laughs> oh my god. Burn claw the relentless again. And Nyx. Okay, so now I think we got all the firebirds. Oh man, this is awesome. I like a lot of these cards.
All right. Oh, super rare peeking out. Canyon Skimmer, Blastforge Dragon, Tooth Grubbling, Steel Hammer, Vectro Scout, Herald of Infernus for our rare. Whenever this creature wins a battle, you may put non-evolution dragon from your hand into the battle zone, which is awesome. And Draco Thane of the Abyss, Triple Breaker, Dominate the Dead. When this creature enters the battle zone, choose up to two non-evolution creatures in your discard pile that are level four or less and put them in the battle zone. That's pretty freaking awesome. He's pretty too. And we've got Umbra and Balua. Two Firebirds, one pack. Nice. We're still not even halfway done. Alright. Trial and Error. Steel Hammer. Canyon Skimmer. Blast Forge Dragon. Energize. And our rare, Spellbane Dragon. I think we got this one already. Oh no, we didn't. Whenever your creature casts a spell, choose one of your opponent's shield. This creature breaks that shield. That's that's not broken. <laughs> Ancient Grave Worm, Burnclaw the Relentless, and Kanina. Nice. Tooth Grubbling, Manipod Beetle. Bronca the Treacherous, Logos Lookout, Drooling Worm, Vectro Scout. That's a cool art. Uh, Bottle of Wishes. This is the one I was telling my friend Alex he, he would want, because it's similar to a card in Magic. Shuffle your deck, then reveal the top card. If it's a non-evolution creature, put it into the battle zone. If it's a spell that's level 7 or less, cast it for free. Otherwise, put it into your hand. Which is pretty awesome, because this is a shield blast. And then we got Nyx and Balua. Now we're starting to get two per packs, I guess. Last couple packs for Firebirds. All right, the Locust, Eye of the Tides, Hammer Fist, Grudge Weaver, Storm Seeker, and Ripper Reaver. Curse Scythe. Whenever this creature enters the battle zone, you may you, cho you may choose one of your other creatures and banish it. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her creatures in the battle zone and banish that creature. That's kind of cool. You could get rid of something really small of yours and then something big of theirs. And another Rage Fire Tatsirion. While you have no cards in hand, this creature has powerful attack plus 3000, double breaker, and can't be the target of your opponent's spells and abilities. So, if you saw my video talking about him, this is kind of like how he doesn't like water because he's basically made of fire. And his effect ha happens when you have no cards in hand while water cards allow you to draw. So he doesn't really work that well with water. It's kind of funny thing if you think about it. Aurora Valkyrie and Devouring Smog is our last cards. Oops. 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 Almost did that one. All right, halfway through. Ooh, cool. Grudge Weaver, Storm Seeker, Copper Locust, Hammer Fist, Drooling Worm, Patchwork Surgeon. Oh, we got this one already. He is cool. Bugash, Ancient Grave Worm, Mana Warden. All right, we're starting to get packs where we're getting stuff we already had, and that's cool. All right, Energize, Toothed Grubbling, Manipod Beetle, Coral Claw. You may tap this creature, to, uh, Blocker, Guard, Memory Strength. When this creature is banished, you may draw a card. That's cool. Bronca the Treacherous again, and Snare. That's that cool one again, and... Lyra, the Blazing Sun. That's pretty nice art. Double Breaker and Solar Flare. When this creature enters the battle zone, tap target enemy creature. That creature doesn't untap at the start of your opponent's next turn. You can do that to a blocker. That would really screw him up. Treetop Dragon. Lux.
Hammer Fist, Coral Claw, Storm Seeker, Energize, Gloom Tomb, Dauntless Tusker. That's a really cool one. While you have a dragon in the battle zone, this creature gets plus 4,000 power and has double breaker. So it works well with dragons. We've got another Aurora Valkyrie, Balua, and Umbra. All right, we've got Explosive Infantry, Trial and Error, Canyon Skimmer, uh, Steel Hammer, Grudge Weaver, Spellbane Dragon again, it's awesome, Spark Cage, Devouring Smog, and the Storm Leader, or swar Swarm Leader, sorry. It's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Energize. Gloom Tomb, Vectro Scout, Manipod Beetle, Drooling Worm, Ripper Reaver, uh, we got him before, and Dread Claw, the Dark Herald. Double Breaker, when this creature enters the battle zone, return all dragons from your discard pile into your hand. Wow. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Treetop Dragon, Mana Warden. Got Copper Locust, Grudge Weaver, Steel Hammer, Bronca the Treacherous, Coral Claw, and Horn Blade Dragon. This is the Skirmisher guy again. He's cool. He's cool because he's easy to get out for being five for only an Earth Strike for an Earth Strike Dragon. And then the last one's Balua and Lux and Burn Claw the Relentless. Tomb, Blast Forge Dragon, Energize, Bronca the Treacherous, Defense Mode, Bone Rattle Dragon. Oh wow, he looks really awesome. Uh, Double Breaker, Soul Shivers. When this creature attacks, choose a player. That player puts the top two cards of his or her deck into the discard pile. So you could even choose yourself if you wanted to. Oh, Ancient Grave Worm, Lux, and Bagash. We're on the last four packs, guys. Got Toothed Grubbling, Eye of the Tides, Defense Mode, Trial and Error, Vectro Scout, Copper Locust, and Queen Taniwa. Blocker with Submerge. If this creature would be banished, return it to your hand instead. That's cool. And we've got Emperor Dendrite and Kanina. All the Firebirds. All right, got Blast Forge Dragon, Logos Lookout, Vectro Scout, Copper Locust, Bronca the Treacherous. Reflector Cannon. When this creature is banished, tap all enemy creatures, which is kind of easy because he's 2,000. Wow. Fractal. That's a cool thing. All right. And then Sokron, the Untamed Earthstrike Dragon. Evolution, put on one of your dragons. Double Breaker. Dragon Frenzy. When one of your dragons wins a battle, choose one of your opponent's shields. This, this, uh, that dragon breaks that shield. So I like how all the uh, dragon evolutions, you just have to put on dragons. At least in this set. I think um, you had to put it on an armored dragon for Tetsurion the, uh, Tetsurion the uh, Evo Fury. Uh, Nyx and Bagash. All right, uh, Tooth Grubbling, Manipod Beetle. Hammer Fist, Canyon Skimmer, Eye of the Tides, 
defense mode. Uh, we don't do prices over the phone. Dragon of uh, Reflections. Double Breaker. When this creature enters the battle zone, you may choose one of your shields and put it into your hand. If you do, put a card from your hand into your shield zone face down as a new shield. We got him before. He's awesome. Nyx and Spark Cage. Last pack, guys. Last one. All right, we've got Blast, oh. Blast Forge Dragon, Logos Lookout, Storm Seeker, Drooling Worm, Explosive Infantry, Arachnopod, we got that before. And the last one, Issel of the Frozen Waters, Double Breaker, Arctic Winds. When this creature is tapped, enemy creatures don't untap at the start of your opponent's turn. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, Kanina and Umbra. Wow. These are a lot of really awesome uh, cards in this set. Now I'll just go back over the uh, rares and stuff we got. We got Arachnopod, Dragon of Reflections, Reflector Cannon, Queen, Ta Queen Tanera, Bone Rattle Dragon, Hornblade Dragon, Ripper Reaver, Spellbane Dragon, Dauntless Tusker, and Snare Patchwork Surgeon, Ripper Reaver, Bottle of Wishes, Spellbane Dragon, Herald of Infernus, Dragon of Reflections, Gemini Dragon, Arachnopod, Hornblade Dragon, Patchwork Surgeon, Dragon's Breath, Dragon's Breath, and Snare, and Gemini Dragon. And then our... Very rares. We've got two Tets, uh, Ragefire Tetsurion, Kindrix the Psionic, Socron the Untamed, Dreadclaw, Dark Herald, and Lyra the Blazing Sun. So I think we got, we got one of each civilization, at least. That's pretty cool. And two rage fires because of the one that's between the packs. And then our three supers happen to be Kurigar of the Herds, uh, Dracothane of the Abyss, and Issel of the Frozen Wastes, which are all pretty awesome cards. So, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to Kerwin's, the Kerwin's Game Store channel, uh, or the Ninja Nick 333, and uh, we'll see you guys later.